What was the craziest thing that someone survived from? This is Joe Simpson, and I literally guarantee you his survival story will blow your mind. In 1985, Joe and his friend Simon were climbing the Andes Mountains in Peru. More specifically, Joe and Simon wanted to climb the Ciola Grande, a dangerous 20,000 foot mountain peak with tons of snow and ice. Unfortunately, climbing the Ciola Grande was considered impossible. In fact, no one had even attempted it before they did because it was literally considered a suicide mission. But they thought they would be the first ones to do it. The duo actually made it up the mountain fine, but it was on the way down that things just started going wrong. On their way down, Joe slipped on a patch of ice and broke his leg, making it nearly impossible for him to walk. So instead, the two decided to use a rope to lower each other down the face of the mountain. This idea worked well for a while, but soon something happened with the rope that left Joe dangling 150 feet above a dark crevice. The two were both badly frostbitten at the time, and Simon had no choice but to cut the rope, dropping his friend in order for him to survive. So Joe was stuck all alone at the bottom of the crevice with hypothermia, a broken leg, and no one to call for help. I just posted part 2 as well, so go check it out on my page. This is part 2 of the craziest survival story. Go check out part 1 if you haven't already. Joe somehow managed to survive the 150 foot fall with no other injuries. And he knew that he couldn't wait for help because his friend Simon probably thought he was dead and was going to leave without him. So, with his broken leg and hypothermia, he began to crawl deeper and deeper into the crevice, looking for a way out. Fortunately, he was able to find one, and he began to slowly crawl back to civilization. For the next three days, Joe slowly crawled down the face of the mountain, ignoring the excruciating pain from his broken leg, from his hypothermia, and from his hunger and thirst. He had no food whatsoever, and he only could eat a little bit of snow to stay hydrated, but he still managed to crawl three straight days to get back to his camp. Incredibly, Joe managed to crawl a total of five miles with no food or water, a broken leg, and hypothermia. Both Joe and his friend Simon survived the journey, and today there's a book and a movie made on his amazing experience.